In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add shadow behind your text and other elements here in Photoshop. So let's say I have this example thumbnail here, but I'm worried about the visibility of the text on this brighter background color. But maybe I'm using like the brand colors, so I don't want to change that, but I do want to make this text a little more visible. We can do that by adding a little shadow behind it. Now what we're going to add is a drop shadow. So if we come over here to our layers panel, just to the right of all of the titling of the layer itself, somewhere in this gray space, what we could do is double click to open up our layer styles. Now in our layer styles, we actually have a drop shadow option. Here on the left hand side, you see a lot of different layer styles, including drop shadow. As soon as we check mark that, it's going to show us the drop shadow out here in our design if we have this preview box check marked. So as long as we have that, we can make adjustments here to the drop shadow. Make sure you have drop shadow selected and you'll see all the settings. We have a blend mode. Generally, I believe the default is multiply. We can select the shadow color. A quick tip with shadow color. If you pull a color from the actual design background, so if I pull this color and then I kind of bring this color all the way down into the shadowing here, it's going to look a little bit better than just a straight black shadow on your background. So if you pull a little bit of color from your background, it kind of blends a little better. We can adjust the opacity so we can bring this all the way up to 100%, which obviously is a little less subtle than you would want. So I'd bring that down. But to, just to show you some of these other options, we can adjust the angle here. Now this angle is adjusting the global light angle which means this angle will be shared across all of your shadows that have this check, uh, check mark, check marked, <laughs> if you will. If you uncheck this, this shadow in particular will have its own angle. From there, we can change the distance the shadow moves away at that angle from the text, the original text. We can also adjust the spread and the size. So imagine the spread being almost like the width and the size being like the blur. So size gives it a little more blur, you give it a little more, more spread, and it kind of fills in the size, if that makes sense. So you can make this as sharp as you want, just by bringing the size down to zero, which means there's no blur effect. Or you can make it quite blurry and bring the size down to make that blur a little bit more subtle. And you can adjust the distance, whether it's away or it's just back on top, not moving anywhere, so the shadow goes equidistant from all the edges and in fact the angle wouldn't even matter there. So once you've kind of got this locked in to where you want it, you can also bring the opacity back down a little bit and you can just check this preview box on and off to see the effect. So it's given our text just a little bit of separation from the background. We have this quality tab here. I pretty much never mess with this when it comes to drop shadow, but you can adjust the contour of the drop shadow, uh, check mark the anti-alias box, and also adjust the noise. You can see how it's added noise to the shadow here. If that's something you're looking for in your design, you can add it, or you can just remove it completely. Now I would hit OK on this, and you might notice we also have this graphic, the Canva logo, that doesn't have a shadow on it right now. If I wanted to duplicate this shadow onto this graphic as well, well, let's take a look at our layers panel. We have our edit photos text, and then we have our word mark right here, the Canva logo. Anything can have these layer effects on it. And to duplicate this layer effect over, I'm just gonna hold Option on Mac or Control on PC, click and drag that drop shadow, and place it on top of this Canva logo. Now you can see that that drop shadow has been applied out here to the Canva logo and the Edit Photos uh, text. So if we zoom out a little bit and we go and maybe hide the drop shadow, turn it on or off, we can see how that affects the separation between the background just with a subtle shadow there would help make that text a little bit more readable. Now there's one more thing I'm gonna show you. I actually have these two elements in a group, and I can turn this group on and off. I can also apply a layer effect to the group itself. So if I were to delete this drop shadow layer effect by right-clicking on it and going down to 
clear layer style. So there's no more layer style on the Canva word mark. And then this edit photos drop shadow, instead of holding option or alt, I'm not going to hold anything. I'm just going to move this drop shadow to the group. That will apply the drop shadow to everything inside of the group. So I have the Canva logo and the edit photos text. And if I can, if I hide this drop shadow and show it, it actually is applied across all the elements within the group. So to save you some time, if you're applying elements to multiple, you could group them and just apply a drop shadow or whatever effect to the group instead of all the individual elements inside of it. Then when I go back to this drop shadow by double clicking on it, I can make quick adjustments to it that will apply to all the elements in the group all at the same time, which is a very helpful way of working with layer styles. And that's how you can add a shadow to your text here in Adobe Photoshop.